car designers too often use the word athletic for their creations. But I think that word definitely applies for the 2015 Nissan Murano. First, we have what Nissan calls the V-Motion grille. It's pretty bold in this car. We also have the boomerang headlights and taillights. That's a standard Nissan feature. Now, down the sides, we have a belt line that really kicks up hard at the rear. And at the same time, the roof slopes down to meet it. They have blacked out pillars all around in what Nissan calls a floating roof design. And in this platinum trim model with 20 inch wheels, the waist gets really narrow, giving it that athletic look. The base Murano goes for $29,560. But now we have the platinum trim model with all wheel drive. That goes for $40,600. That comes standard with LED headlights, navigation, and these 20 inch wheels. We've also added the technology package with adaptive cruise control and a panoramic sunroof for $2,260. That brings our total CNET style with destination to $43,475. In the cabin of this platinum trim Nissan Murano, we have a really nice interior design. I feel like this comes up to the level of Lexus RX. We have this trim on the console and around the sides here. It's kind of metallic, but it's also wood looking. I wonder if they harvest it from aluminum Christmas trees, but I like the look. For the head unit, we have a totally new Nissan Connect 8 inch touchscreen here, totally new software. This is pretty interesting stuff. They have a new interface. We have this menu strip along the bottom. I really like this because this gives you quick access to all the different features. These new maps are crisp and clean. I really like the look. You get traffic coverage, really broad traffic coverage, actually not just on freeways and highways, but on surface streets as well. They've also added a, a pinch zoom feature too. So if I pinch in like that, it zooms out. If I pinch out, it zooms in. So for navigation, we have pretty much the standard ways to find destinations, but we have a new feature here. It's part of the Nissan Connect apps feature. So if I bring it over here, I've actually got my iPhone connected here running the Nissan Connect app. So that gives me Google online search. So I hit that and this gives me a lot of different ways of searching for destinations online. I can do a manual search. I can use voice search. I can send a car from my phone and I've got categories too here. So that's, that's really convenient. And for other apps with Nissan Connect, we also have Facebook, Twitter, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. It makes us a very connected car. For other audio sources, we have Bluetooth streaming. We've got a USB port here for iOS devices and USB drives. We also have a USB port in the back, so your rear seat passengers can plug in, then you can choose music from their devices here. We have HD radio and satellite radio as well. Now I put this into reverse, and we get a surround view camera here. That's really convenient for parking this big boy, seeing what's all around the car. Behind the wheel here, I have a really easy driving experience. I think that's kind of the point with the Murano, is they don't want to make it something you have to think too much about driving. And one thing I really noticed in this cabin, which I really appreciate, is that there's no sport button, there's no eco button. You just get in and drive, and that's kind of the point. Now under the hood, we have a 3.5 liter V6 engine. If you know Nissans at all, that's a pretty common engine for them. It's part of their VQ series of engines. They've been using it forever, 15 years now almost. It's kind of showing its age. It doesn't have a lot of efficiency features that other automakers are using in their engines like direct injection or things like that. We get 260 horsepower, 240 pound-feet of torque out of this engine. Not huge numbers, but they're definitely adequate. The EPA rating on this engine is 21 miles per gallon city, 28 miles per gallon highway. The heart of the drivetrain, Nissan's really big tech achievement is, is this continuously variable transmission or CVT. Now, if you don't like CVTs, you haven't driven a Nissan because this one works really well. I've got these virtual shift points so I can pretend to shift. It's pretty smooth. Those are really well programmed. I like how it does it. But now let's give it some real acceleration and see what happens. It lets the wheels spin a little bit and it just powers through. It lets the engine speed run really high. You see the tack needle run up to 4,000, 5,000. Then you see that tack needle blip as the transmission changes ratios to accommodate the speed that you really want and really tap that engine power. A couple other features I should mention really quickly in this platinum trim model is we've got a blind spot monitoring system with uh, lights on the A pillars to show me if there's a car in my blind spot. We also have adaptive cruise control. The nice thing about the Murano is this platinum trim gives us a lot of nice features, extra amenities, but every Murano is gonna have the same driving experience, which I really like. It definitely accomplishes what this car should be doing. Very comfortable ride, very easy ride, and that's the key.